I'd like to call the Hoffman Stakes liquor license hearing uh, to order, and you call the roll, Madam Clerk. Commissioner McLeod? Present. Commissioner Newell? Present. Okay, we do have a quorum. The applicant today is Church Street Brewing Company, doing business as Bell Street Brewing, address 2000 Center Drive. Um, is everything in order, Madam Clerk? Yes. Okay. Does anybody... Uh, Anybody have any questions for the petitioner on the commission? No. You just want to identify yourself for the record, ma'am. Hi, my name is Lisa Gregor, and I'm the owner at Church Street Brewing Company. Okay. Trustee Noel, do you have any questions? Uh, not at this time, no, thank you. Okay. Hit me. Anyone in the public have any uh, questions? Going once, twice, three times, and move on. Do you have any questions of us? Not right now. No. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Chair, I accept a motion to release the license to the petitioner. So moved. I will second the motion. Um, any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Chair would accept a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Opposed? The ayes have a motion carried. We are adjourned. Thank so you. We want to wait until after the meeting or just come and pick it up tomorrow. I'm going to come pick it up. Yeah, right. and then the business yeah. license too. We'll both be ready for you. Okay, thank right. you very much. Right. Good luck with right. everything. Welcome to Hawkins yeah. States. Yes. I'd like to call the first meeting of the uh, month of June to order on June 5th, 2023. Can you call the roll, Madam Clerk? Trustee Mills? Present. Trustee Newell? Present. Trustee Palafis? Present. Trustee Stanton? Present. Trustee Arnett? Present. Mayor McLeod? Present. Can everybody please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? You want to lead us, Trustee Mills? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. 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 Village board or the village staff for an item that is not on the agenda. Now's the time to come forward. Only once, twice. Yes, sir. Come on up. Just give us your name and address for the record. Hi. Uh, good evening. My name is uh, Peter Osu. I reside at 900 Basswood Street in Parcel A, and I'm here to um, start. Or, or trying to start a conversation about uh, uh, changing the code for beekeeping. Okay. Beekeeping is very important. I know uh, right now uh, bees are a nuisance in our code and they're not allowed. I would like to ask the board uh, if we can have the conversation or maybe assign somebody to um, talk about this to see if we can change the code. We can uh, set this up on a committee meeting. I think uh, Mr. Gugliera is uh, in charge of codes. Uh, maybe that's the person I'm just here to essentially be for the record. To okay. See if that's we fine. can start looking at that. Okay. Hey, Pete, could you give this gentleman your phone number or email to contact you? Um, yeah, we can put in an, ag an agenda too if you really want to. Of course. Pursue this. I okay. understand. Thank you. Appreciate you. Thank you. Anyone else have anything? If not, we'll move on to item number four, approval of the minutes. This is a board is seeking approval for the minutes of the May 15, 2023 meeting. So moved. Second. We have a motion. We have a second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have a motion carried. The May 22, 2023 special meeting. Chair, accept a motion. So moved. A second. We have a motion. We have a second. Any discussion on this one? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have a motion carried. We'll move on to consent agenda. Chair would accept a motion. So moved to a approve it uh, by omnibus vote. We have a motion and a second for approval of the uh, uh, for approval of the agenda. The items on the consent agenda are, approve, are the following. A, a, approval of the agenda. B, approval of the schedule of bills for June 5th, 2023, in the amount of $6,520,000 and 4 cents. 
C, request board approval of an ordinance authorizing amendments to the 2022 budget ordinance. D, request board authorization to award a contract for the now arena concourse wall painting to BB&T Construction, Mount Prospect, Illinois, in an amount not to exceed $55,800. E, request board authorization to renew the Community Development Annual Subscription Agreement between Superior LLC, a Central Square Technology Company, and the Village of Hoffman Estates for a term of one year at a subscription cost of $48,070.98. F, request board, or board authorization to weigh A, weigh formal bidding, and B, <laughs> renew a contract for 2023 and 2024 sanitary and storm sewer televising and elevation with American Underground, Inc., Glenview, Illinois, in amount not to exceed $160,000. G, request board authorization to award a contract for a village-wide water distribution system leak survey to Emmy Simpson Company of Valparaiso, Indiana, in an amount not to exceed $60,000. H, request board authorization to A, waive formal bidding, and B, purchase two Ford F-250 pickup trucks from friendly Ford Roselle, Illinois, in an amount not to exceed $99,200. C, purchase two Ford Explorer interceptors, and one Ford 150 pickup truck from Curry Motors, Frankfurt, Illinois, in an amount not to exceed $124,560. D, purchase two Ford Explorer interceptors from Welch Ford, Hardyville, South Carolina, in an amount not to exceed $93,080. Does anybody want any of these pulled? Seeing none, we do have a motion a second. Can you call the roll, Madam Clerk? Trustee Mills? Aye. Trustee Newell? Aye. Trustee Palafis? Aye. Trustee Stanton? Aye. Trustee Arnett? Aye. Mayor McLeod? Aye. Motion carried. Move on to President's Report. Uh, we have a Citizen Life Saving Award and Firefighter Commendations for Successful Resuscitation of Two Cardiac Arrest Victims. Chief Wax? Thank you. We'll ask everybody that's being recognized to please join us back here behind, near, the, near the seats behind me. Holy moly. Recognizing a lot of people. Guess so. Cool. So, so April 17th, 2023 was a very busy day for the fire department in our community, uh, in addition to these calls, but we're going to be talking about what started at 3.45 p.m. on that day. At that time, your fire department's paramedics were dispatched to a residence for a cardiac arrest victim. On arrival, paramedics found a man on the floor in cardiac arrest with the man's daughter, Katie Mulefelder, actively performing cardiopulmonary resuscitation. We'll ask, as we're talking, we'll introduce our players. Katie? <laughs> with the assistance of the Northwest Central Dispatch Center telecommunicator, Janine Tribuzio. Janine is here as well. Janine is the one who answered the 911 call and provided CPR instructions. Katie had been doing CPR for several minutes prior to the arrival of the fire department with Janine's assistance. Once the paramedics arrived, they took over CPR and began advanced life support measures, ultimately reviving the patient. There is no doubt that the CPR, with the instructions given by Janine, performed by Katie while waiting for the paramedics to arrive, kept her dad's vital organs perfused with oxygen and allowed the advanced treatments provided by the paramedics to work successfully. Then, less than four hours later that same day, paramedics were dispatched to another cardiac arrest call. This time, paramedics arrived to find a man on the floor in cardiac arrest with his wife, Ella Murda, performing CPR as instructed by the dispatcher. And we'll ask Ella to raise her hand. Thank you. Once again, the advanced skills and techniques of the paramedics revived the patient. And again, this was in large part due to the actions of Mrs. Murda to keep the oxygen flowing to Mr. Murda's vital organs, which made those organs receptive to the paramedics' interventions. We are so, so happy to be able to speak of the positive outcomes in these cases, made possible by the willingness of Katie and Ella to take action. We are privileged to be able to recognize these women and congratulate them for their successful efforts. We know it was scary to them while it was happening, but they did great. We also recognize the gifts these families have received, and we are so happy that Katie's dad, Merrick Semek, is here this evening. Merrick? And Ella's husband, John Murda. John? We're so happy they're recovering well, and they're able to join us and the rescuers here today. So we wish to congratulate 
all of the ones we've mentioned so far, please join me. Additionally, we appreciate being able to recognize telecommunicator Tribuzio for the great job she did in being an essential part of the life of this life saved. Our dispatch center partners are vital to the success of our emergency response, but they all too often go unrecognized. We offer Janine our thanks and our congratulations. And I also appreciate the opportunity to recognize our fire department members who are on these incidents. These calls are just two examples of the positive results, the actions taken by our personnel every single day. We appreciate their hard work, professionalism, and their successes on behalf of all of us in the community. We know that cardiac arrest calls are labor intensive, so there were a lot of firefighters on each of the call. I'll briefly recognize those involved in the two incidents, and as I call your name, if you would, just please raise your hand so we can identify you. Uh, Captain Brian Campbell, Brian was the shift commander that day. He was on both incidents. Lieutenant Jeffrey Northrop. Lieutenant Craig Olson. Craig was also on both of those incidents. Lieutenant Richard Anderson. Firefighter paramedic David Leslie. Firefighter paramedic Dustin Eckhart is not here today. Michael Petrucci is not here today. Peter Banke is not with us. He was on both incidents as well. Firefighter paramedic Jonathan Drummer is here. Michael Clark is not here today. And following firefighter paramedics are here today with us. Vincent Bava, Ben Olson, Simon Scholes, Ian Rose, Emma Gilhooley, and we also have paramedic student Chris Bonin. So it's important for us to tell these stories as a reminder of our life-saving message that CPR saves lives. We encourage everybody, everybody to learn CPR. We know that statistically, if you end up needing to use CPR, it will be to try to save a family member or a friend. So we invite everybody to attend the fire department CPR classes and information on those are on our website. So I just want to thank you for indulging us in a few moments to be able to publicly recognize Katie, Katie and Ella and the other team members that contributed to these successful outcomes. And we also have uh, some additional certificates for our dispatcher and uh, for our rescuers. Thank you all very much. Well done, guys. So, um, if you want to go around, we can shake everybody's hand. And we'll try to get a picture. Thank you, Joy. Congratulations. Thank you, Joy. Good job. Nice to see you tonight. Great work. You've been on the job that long, you're already doing it. It's great. You can take a picture of here. Nice work. Thank you. Glad you're here. Nice work, guys. Nice job. Try to do a picture up here with the board. Great job. Will that work, Missy? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you much. Oh, we don't want the tall ones. Keep moving down tall. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, she's got the stairs. Oh, she's got the stairs. Oh, she's got the stairs. Missy's back there. Yeah, yeah she's got oh, the stairs. Yeah, and a little pole thing. All right. Thank you very much. <sighs> Extraordinary stories we heard tonight. 
Who's got the um, first proclamation? I think I do. Let me get set up here really quick. <laughs> I've said the mayor proclamation. Whereas all are welcome in Hoppin Estates to live, work, play, and every family in any shape deserves a place to call home where they are safe, happy, and supported by friends and neighbors. And whereas Hoffman Estates denounces prejudice and unfair discrimination based on age, gender identity, gender expression, race, color, religion, marital status, national origin, sexual orientation, or physical attributes as an affront of our fundamental principles. And whereas Pride Month begin, uh, began in June of 1969 on the one year anniversary of the Stonewall Uprising in New York City after LGBTQ plus and allied friends rose up and fought against the constant police harassment and discriminatory laws that have since been declared unconstitutional. And whereas Hoffman Estates appreciates the cultural, civic, and economic contributions of lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, plus, LGBTQ plus community, which strengthens our social welfare. And whereas it is imperative that young people in our community, regardless of sexual orientation, gender identity, and expression, feel valued, safe, empowered, and supported by their peers and community leaders. And whereas despite being marginalized, LGBTQ plus people continue to celebrate authenticity, acceptance, and love. Be therefore resolved that William D. McLeod, acting under and by virtue of the authority vested in him by the Constitution of the State of Illinois and laws of this village of Hoffman Estates, hereby proclaim June 2023 as LGBTQ plus Pride Month in the village of Hoffman Estates and urge all residents and businesses of Hoffman Estates and surrounding suburbs to join in its observance. Chair, will accept a motion. So moved. Second. We have a motion with a second. Uh, I want to thank the board for uh, doing this. Um, we all know people who are gay or LBTQ plus, and uh, my own daughter is. And she's also deaf, and she's had more problems in her life from being gay than being deaf. So things have gotten a lot better than they were uh, years ago. All those in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed? The ayes have a motion. Here we Dr. Savidji, will you accept this? <coughs> Thank you. Don't go too far. <laughs> <laughs> I have the next one, Office of the Mayor Proclamation. Whereas June is National Men's Health Month, which focuses on a broad range of men's health issues, including heart disease, mental health, diabetes, prostate cancer, and testicular cancer, and colon cancer. And whereas despite advances in medical technology and research, men continue to live an average of five years less than women, with Native American and African American men having the lowest life expectancy. And whereas educating the public and health care providers about the importance of a healthy lifestyle and early detection of male health problems will result in reducing rates of mortality from disease. And whereas men educated about the value the, that preventive health, I'm sorry, health plays in prolonging their lifespan and the role as productive family members are more likely to participate in health screenings. And whereas the Men's Health Network worked with con Congress to develop a national men's health awareness period as a special campaign to help educate men, boys, and their families about the importance of positive health attitudes and preventative health practices. And whereas the citizens of the village of Hoffman Estates are encouraged to increase awareness of the importance of a healthy lifestyle, regular exercise, and medical checkups, be it therefore resolved that William D. McLeod, acting under and by the virtue of the authority vested in him, by the Constitution of the State of Illinois and laws of this village of Hoffman Estates, hereby proclaims June of 2023 as Men Health Month in the village of Hoffman Estates and urges all Hoffman Estates citizens to pursue preventative health practices, and early detection efforts. Chair will accept a motion. So moved. A second. We have a motion to second. Men are notorious for not taking care of their health, so hopefully we can remind them to please take care and go to the doctor and lead a healthy lifestyle. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have a motion carried. Dr. Savitra, <clears throat> thank you for the great work your department does. Okay, we have um, some board and commission resignations. Karen Whalen from the Arts Commission, Mia Maria Brandt from the Celebrations Commission, Kevin Wendorf from the Cultural Awareness Commission, Franz Hudson from the Commission for Senior Citizens, Craig Marson 
from the Emerging Technology Advisory Commission, Robert Ivey from the Sustainability Commission, Gary Palafis from the Sustainability Commission, Eva Slamshami, Mana Zahagan, resignation from the Youth Commission, Susan Badia, resignation from the Youth Commission, and Ellis Kapusinski, resignation from the Cultural Awareness Commission. Chair would accept a motion. So move. A second. We have a motion. We have a second. We appreciate the service these folks have provided. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? The ayes say aye. Motion carry. Now we'll move on to the reappointments. you got to bear with me a little while here. The Arts Commission, Motika Anad, for a term ending April 30th, 2025. Gary Palafis for a term ending April 30th, 2025. Michelle Palafis for a term ending April 30th, 2025. And Beth Kalipsis, term ending April 30th, 2025. Bicycle, Bicycle and Pedestrian Advisory Committee, Keith Evans, term ending April 30th, 2025. Ron Searle, term ending April 30th, 2025. Bob Potch, term ending April 30th, 2025. Celebrations Commission, Carol Crawl, term ending April 30th, 2025. And Cynthia Scroba, term ending April 30th, 2025. Celtic Fest Commission, uh, Yusuf Ahmad, Doris Harner, Ben Gibbs, Jennifer Georgievic, all terms ending April 30th, 2025. Commission for People with Disabilities, Judith Sanasi and Mary Ann Ogilvy, again term ending April 30th, 2025. Commission for Senior Citizens, all these ending on April 30th, 2025. Kathy Algram, Lillian Clinton, and Roz Marizzo. Cultural Awareness Commission, again, all these end on April 30th, 2025. Catherine McCord, Bonnie Worcester, Sandra Lajas, Susan Cooper, Arlene Montanez. Economic Development Commission, Linda Dressler, term ending April 30th, 2025. Rich Payne, term ending April 30th, 2025. Daniel Lee, term ending April 30th, 2025. And we're moving Ralph Zucker to emeritus status for the Economic Development Commission. Electoral Commission, all terms ending April 30th, 2024. Les Montag, James O'Shea, Jim Santapadre. Emerging Technology Advisory Commission, all these ending April 30th, 2025. Pad Madaban Balaji, Nicholas Yohama, Gary Palafis, Ami Haq, Deepak Verma. Fourth of July Commission, all ending April 30th, 2025. Linda Sheck, Ben Gibbs, Craig Cooney, and Junie Schultz. Historical Sites Commission, again ending April 30th, 2025. Robert Sinosik, Nancy Lyons, and Jane Davey. Class Cancer Commission, all ending on April 30th, 2025. Michael Kahoj, Yusuf Ahmad, and Linda Dressler. Sister Cities Commission, again April 30th, 2025. 2025, all these terms end. Lillian Mosier, Anita Flanagan, Brianna Yardwood, Cindy Rizé, and Jeff Howard. Road Impact Advisory Feed Committee, all terms ending April 30th, 2025. Thomas Porzak Jr., Joni McLeod, Dan Jedrzejczyk, and Michael Lee. Stormwater Management Committee, again ending April 30th, 2025. Eric Marson and Paul Matthews. Sustainability Commission, all terms ending April 30th, 2025. Sheila Schwartz, Alan Harner, Chrissy Christian, Alfredo Izardo, George Tahowski III, Louis Basher. Utility Commission, Tricia O'Brien, term ending April 30th, 2025. Veterans Memorial Commission, all terms ending April 30th, 2025. Jeff Camilleri, Cheryl Novus, Mark Iwakowski, Gerald Gold, Les Montag, Gary Palafis. Youth Commission, Kimberly Barton, term ending April 30th, 2025. I have two uh, other appointments to make from folks we just interviewed. Peg Kuzimirsky, Commission for Senior Citizens, and Emmanuel Ecker, Sister Cities Commission. Chair would accept a motion. So moved. Second. We have a motion. We have a second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Motion carried. We had, uh, haven't met in a while, obviously. And um, we had Mike Barber's uh, luncheon celebrating his retirement Wednesday the 31st. And we um, had Unity Day this past Saturday, which was really nice. And Sunday, many of you went to the Torch Run, the Special Olympics. And we had the visitation for Trustee Yeda on uh, Today we had uh, the funeral mass for, for Trustee Yeda. It was very moving, and I held it all together until the Army came in and played tabs. <laughs> that was 
that was quite a thing. Tuesday, May 23rd, we had the Transportation Standing Committee of Zoom. That was the National League of Cities. And um, I know some of you participated in Tom Daly's golf outing on Wednesday the 24th. I went to the, the dinner. Thursday the 25th, they had the Northwest Municipal Conference Transportation Committee meeting. And we had a Village Green meeting. Uh, on Friday the 26th, we have High Five Fridays at Whiteley School. And followed by the, the party at Thomas Jefferson that they had at the um, at the park on Freeman Road with the splash pad. And uh, I want to thank um, Park Board President Kinane for getting the uh, splash pad turned on early for that party. <laughs> they were very, very grateful. Friday, the tw night of the 26th, we had um, Joy McLeod's uh, 70th birthday party celebration uh, at Moretti's. Unique events. It was a great party. And... Uh, then Sunday, the 28th, we had a block party. Uh, Dixon, there's always a huge block party there. And the 29th was actually Joni's birthday. I do have a couple of things I'd like to read. Dear Mayor Bill McLeod, the Village Board, the Pie family thanks you very much for honoring our dad with his name on street signs at the intersection of his old place of work. He so enjoyed wearing blue and making a difference in the lives of folks in our community. He would be so pleased to see his name honored for giving all that he gave. You truly made this a special event. We also want to thank Police Chief Cawley and the police officers and retired men in blue who honored Dad with their presence. Thanks for the special food as well. Sincerely, Jim Pye, Mary Joe Pye. Also, I have a letter that a copy of the letter was sent to Chief Wax. Dear Chief Wax, this is a letter of thanks and appreciation for the fine men and women from Hoffman Estate Station 21, who numerous times in recent months responded to my 9-11 call to assist my husband. They were, every one of them, entirely professional, knowledgeable, knowledgeable, caring, and worked extremely well as a team each time they were in our home. They were respectful toward my husband and myself and respected my husband's dignity at all times, even when at his worst. It is impossible to convey in words what this has meant to us. Please pass on our appreciation and respect to each one of them. In the near future, will I drop off some treats at Station 21 to convey in another way our appreciation and gratitude. Sincerely, Karen. Very nice. Very nice. Um, you can move on now to uh, Trustee Commons, starting with Trustee Mills. Well, uh, not much to report today. I was at the Cop on a Rooftop on May 19th, and it was very well attended and... Uh, Praises to the police officers who took the time and effort to get up on that roof, even though it was kind of hot um, or slippery from the rain. I also uh, don't have much else to report because my husband and I got a great opportunity to go on a vacation for a few days, and it was well-deserved. Definitely. Um, and just thanks to the fire department for some help they gave me last evening. Thank you. <laughs> That's it. Trustee Stanton. On the uh, <clears throat> excuse me, on the twentieth of uh, May, I was able to go to the Kids to Parks Day event at uh, Fabrini Park, and on the twenty sixth, my wife and I were able to attend the birthday celebration for Joni McLeod, and it was a wonderful event, and uh, I think a good time was had by all. On the 29th of May, I was able to attend the Memorial Day observance at our police station, and on uh, June third, I attended the Unity Day event at our village hall. And on the 4th and 5th, my wife and I were able to attend the services at uh, Marizzo's Funeral Parlor, as well as the funeral service today at uh, St. Hubert's Church for Mike. And uh, obviously, Mike is going to be missed by all. Thank you. Trustee Arnett. Thank you. Um, also, on the 26th, I was able to attend uh, Joni's 70th birthday party, and um, I agree with Trustee Stan that everybody had a really good time. Um, also was able to attend the Memorial Day event at the PD, as well as the Unity Day on June 3rd. And also wanted to say congratulations to Mike Barber and Tony Caseros for their retirement. They will be sorely missed. A couple of uh, great guys that we have there. And also was able to attend the um, the Wake in the Service for uh, Mike Gata. Great. Yeah, the Memorial Day service was very moving. We had ours at, the, at our police building, then I went to the joint when we do a Schamburg uh, at St. Peter's, and they both were very moving. Uh, Trustee Palafis. Yes, sir. Um, Jeremy Cloud's 70th birthday celebration was a lot of fun. 
and uh, very well attended. The mayor's proclamation and the letter from her hometown were both really touching. <clears throat> really enjoyed those and hearing all the stories. I uh, wanted to thank the Veterans Commission and everyone who attended the Memorial Day ceremony at the police station. Uh, we know what a sacrifice it is for staff to come to some of these events, which is a holiday you have off as well. So thanks for those who could make it. Uh, we had an Arts Commission meeting last week, and as you know, the weather is nice, and the Arts Commission events begin soon on Thursday, June 15th. We're all looking forward to seeing everyone there. Uh, last week, I was able to golf in another Special Leisure Services Foundation golf outing, uh, which is a fundraiser for some of our disabled citizens. Uh, another beautiful weather day, a great time out there. Um, thank you to everyone who attended the Cop on a Rooftop, as well as the Torch Run these past couple of weeks. Again, um, just the amount of time that people take out of their day to come and celebrate is awesome. I was also able to stop by and say goodbye to Mike Barber at his retirement party. Um, he's one of those uh, officers I've known for a long time. It was just a lot of fun. Uh, I'll miss him and Dave when they used to both uh, patrol up north and watch for me. <clears throat> uh, the services yesterday and today for Trustee Gata were amazing. Uh, I loved how the Gata children and grandchildren made statements that they knew their father and grandfather was popular, but had no idea how popular he was. And uh, just the outpouring of love really kind of blew them all away. And uh, Mayor, I agree, I had it together too until TAPS. Um, you know, that was a, a rough moment of today for me. Uh, and then uh, the Dixon Drive Black Party was awesome and very well attended. Again, thanks for the police and firemen that come out there. It makes it really special for our residents. And uh, they feel really connected to our public servants. That's all for me. Hey, Trustee Newell. Okay, mine's a little bit longer. Sorry. Okay. Uh, on the 19th, did the cap on a roof. Um, did it out west. Um, nice crowd out there for it. Uh, on the 20th, the kids to park day. On the 24th, the Jawa meeting I attended. On the 26th, uh, Johnny McLeod's birthday, and hopefully it was a great birthday. So um, the 28th, uh, we did the black party on Dixon. The 29th was the Memorial Day service at the police department, which was really uh, a beautiful ceremony, uh, thanks to everyone that came out. Uh, and the third was the Unity Day, which was exceptional. Uh, a lot of uh, people were there. Um, and the fourth we did, uh, and uh, along with the, the clerk, we rooted on the people for the torch run. And both chiefs were out there with a lot of our, you know, volunteers and uh, people from uh, police and fire. And then, of course, we come up to the 4th and the 5th. Uh, many of us attended the wake and services for Trustee Gaeta. Um, we send our deepest condolences, but he touched so many lives in many, many ways. And even if you didn't know him, all of a sudden you knew him and you were like family to him. He's going to be sorely missed by a lot of us. Um, and then i got to throw this out there. Um, summer is here, school is out, so everyone, I know this is mostly your department, but I'm going to say it because everybody slow down and watch out for the children and those bike riders. Some of the things you see every day, it just makes you insane, you know, just slow it down, you know, they're out there, they're having fun, they're glad they're out, it's summertime, let them enjoy it. So keep your eyes open and slow it down a notch. The other thing about hot weather, please check on your neighbors and family that everybody is staying cool. If you're not sure, give them a holler. Say, hey, what's going on? Um, and if you're not totally sure that their AC is working, there are cooling centers, give, it a, give them a call. You know, give our village a call. Find out where they are. Um, I sound like I'm preaching to the choir. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I had to put that out there. And then thank you to everyone about how important CPR is. You know, take the classes, because uh, like the chief said, you may be saving a life of uh, someone in your family or someone you don't know. So, you know, do it. It's really important to 
to have to class. That's all I have. I'm done, finally, really. Okay, you had uh, one item you talked to me about yeah. briefly. Can I, can I yeah. bring that up yeah. now? Yeah. Okay, this is just a suggestion, and I would kind of like to see it. Um, trustee, and if I lose it, somebody back me up over here. Trustee Gata did a lot for our community. He was there when Haverford started. And what I would like to see, yeah, I'm going to need this, um, is probably a honorary street sign with his name that says Trustee Gata on Eaton Drive. Um, he had done so much for the community. If you read some of the things he has done, it goes on and on and on. It's almost like reading a huge book. But it would be such a beautiful honor to somebody who was really, really committed to our community. And if anybody has any thoughts about that, I, I think that would really be nice and put it up on Eaton Drive in his memory. That's an excellent suggestion. I agree mm -hmm. on that. I think everybody's on board with that. Mm -hmm. Eric's ready to go. Thank you. He's a pillar of that it. community. Thank you. Okay, we'll move on to village manager's report. Uh, yeah, one item this evening. I'm pleased to report uh, that the village of Hoffman Estates uh, was awarded the uh, Municipality of the Year Award once again from the Illinois Real Estate uh, Journal uh, Group. Uh, Kevin Kramer accepted that. Uh, on uh, Thursday night of last week, so that's the second time in three years we've uh, won that award. Uh, Romeoville, West Chicago, and Schaumburg were also nominated, uh, but Hoffman Estates uh, took home the hardware, so congratulations to the village and uh, Kevin and Pete and everyone down in Development Services that works uh, tirelessly um, uh, to promote economic development efforts in the village. And that's all I have this evening. Uh, there is a uh, trophy, uh, like a glass trophy type okay. thing that sits in Perfect. Kevin's office. We could just maybe thinking. put it up in the. Uh, I'm thinking. Once public works cycles through the display case. I just have to get my act together and get it out. Oh, well, that's on you. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Move on to D, Village Clerk's report. All righty. Following that, um, during the month of May, 30 passports were processed and 249 FOIAs. And I know John's standing out there too, bending. Thank you for the torch run. <laughs> um, and the Chiefs. You guys did a great job. Thank you. Thank you. Bending. <laughs> Move on. Committee reports, planning, building, and zoning. Uh, Trustee Stanton. Thank you. On uh, next Monday, June 12th at 7 p.m., we'll meet right here in the Village Hall. We'll have a roll call to establish a quorum. Once that is established, we'll have approval of the minutes from May 8th of 2023. From there, we'll have a public comment. And then we go into new business. We'll have three items, at least so far. Request by Commonwealth Edison Company, ComEd, for approval of a license agreement for underground electric distribution lines in the Pembroke Avenue, Eagle Way, Lakewood Boulevard, rights of way to serve the Microsoft Corporation Data Center on Lakewood Boulevard. Two is a request by 5A7 LLC for approval to extend the deadline for existing uses to remain on the Plum Farms 16 acre property at the northwest corner of Higgins Road and Old Sutton Road. Three is a request approval of an ordinance amending section 11-1-1 building codes adopted, section 11-1-2 amendments of codes adopted, section 11-7-1 schedule, and section 7-10-7 obstruction upon right of way of the Hoffman Estates Municipal Code. We'll then go into reports for information only. First is the Planning Division Monthly Report, then Code Enforcement Division Monthly Report, and third and last is the Economic Development and Tourism Monthly Report. From there, we'll have the President's Report, and then we have nothing in other or items in our view, and then we will adjourn. Thank you. General Administration and Personnel, Trustee Arnett. Thank you. Immediately following the Planning, Building, and Zoning Committee, we have called to the order of General Administration and Personnel Committee for Monday, June 12, 2023. We'll begin with a roll call, followed, the, followed by the approval of minutes for May 8, 2023. Hmm. If there's anybody that would like to make a public comment, we'll do so at that time. Move into new business, which at this time there is nothing. We'll move on to reports for information only. Number one is the table, Cable TV Monthly Report. Number two is the Human Resources Management Monthly Report. Number three is the Legislative Operations and Outreach Monthly Report. 
Number three, we move into President's report. If there's anything in other items in review, we'll call for a motion to adjournment. Okay, transportation and road improvement. Uh, Trustee Mills. Transportation and road improvement will also meet next Monday evening immediately following general administration and personnel. Um, after the approval of the minutes of May 8th, and an opportun another opportunity for public comments. We'll move into new business. One, a review of request for handicapped parking space on Chelmsford Place. And two, request approval of an intergovernmental agreement yeah. with the Village of Schaumburg for construction and construction engineering for the Bodie Road resurfacing project. We'll then have, um, for information only purposes, the presentation of the Transportation Division monthly report, followed by the President's report, if he has anything else to say. And if anything else comes up before this board, under other, and we have no items in review, and then we will adjourn. Thank you, Trustee Mills. Move on to Planning and Zoning Commission recommendations. Chairperson Combs, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? Great. Planning and Zoning, oops, better put that up. <laughs> Planning and Zoning Commission request board concurrence of Planning and Zoning Commission recommendation of board approval of an ordinance granting a special use to Wallace Academy to permit a private education facility for the property located at 2357 Hassel Road, Suite 204, vote was 10 A's, one absent. Chair, I'll accept a motion. So moved. I'll second. <clears throat> Motion to second. Any questions on this item? Trustee Mills. Just um, the one question I had is this their only facility or do they have any other locations? This is their only facility, but a lot of their work is done at the student's home. Okay. And they really only feel that they'll have 15 students on premises. Right. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Anyone else have anything? I got a question. Whatever happened to Winston? Yeah. It's still there, isn't it? No. No. This is taking the place. Oh, that's right. Okay, yeah. They kind of were silent about leaving. Mm -hmm. They were. I didn't even know they were going. I didn't either. Wow. They had a pretty big space. Huge space. Yeah. This is not the same space, though. Okay, it's, it's in a different, different uh, suite. Yeah, because Winston was huge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were in the front. This is in the yeah. rear, correct? Yeah. Before that, it was Chicago Education Project. Anybody so. else have anything? If not, can you call the roll, Madam Clerk? Trustee Mills? Aye. Trustee Newell? Aye. Trustee Palafas? Aye. Trustee Stanton? Aye. Trustee Arnett? Aye. Mayor McLeod? Aye. Motion carried. Planning and Zoning Commission request board concurrence with the Planning and Zoning Commission recommendation and board approval of an ordinance granting a special use to Hoffman Estates Fitness, Inc., DBA, Anytime Fitness, to permit a health club for the property located at 2571 West Gulf Road. Vote was 10 A's, one absent. This is a case where um, the same facility had a special use and they changed ownership, so they're required to come back and get another special use. Okay. Move to approve. I'll second. We have a motion. We have a second. Any questions on this item? Seeing none, can you call the roll, Madam Clerk? Trustee Mills? Aye. Trustee Newell? Aye. Trustee Palafis? Aye. Trustee Stanton? Aye. Trustee Arnett? Aye. Chair McLeod? Aye. Motion carried. Thank you, okay. Chairperson Combs. Thank you. Okay. We have one additional item on additional business. A. 8A request board approval of an ordinance amending section 8-3-22. Number of licenses of Article 3 alcoholic liquors of the Hoffman Estates Municipal Code adding Class P license, the Church Street Brewing Company doing business as Bell Street Brewing, 2000 Center Drive, Hoffman Estates, Illinois. The chair would accept a motion. So moved. I'll second. We have a motion and we have a second. Any questions on this item? Seeing none, can you call the roll, Madam Clerk? Trustee Mills? Aye. Trustee Newell? Aye. Trustee Palafis? Aye. Trustee Stanton? Aye. Trustee Arnett? Aye. Mayor McLeod. Aye. Motion carried. There's no other additional business, Mr. Holm? Yes, sir. Okay. Chair will accept a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. We have a motion. We have a second. Any discussion on that? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? The ayes have it. We are adjourned. <laughs>